Uh, fellow delegates, uh, thank you very much for your, for your attention. You may have noticed that there's a petition circulating around the tables. Uh, please make sure you sign it because your support is important. This is not a new issue for the SDLB. Four years ago, we joined with our colleagues in Donegal and we won the argument the uh, Coast Guard station at Ballonhead, which services the Causeway Coast, uh, was retained. It was modernised. It is currently the most modern in Europe. And yet the present government is dealing with uh, a report which suggests it should close. The Coast Guard station has been there in, for 200 years in, in one, form of, uh, uh, one form or another. And uh, it has served the people well. Uh, indeed, since partition, and during the worst part, worst years of the troubles, the officers of Ballonhead have maintained an excellent relationship with their counterparts in the north, working in harmony with each other, Coast Guards, the RNLI, and the various voluntary uh, rescue organisations that have emerged in the intervening years. Without shadow of doubt, the Ballonhead Coast Guards are the best example of cross-border uh, cooperation. They are recognised and respected by everyone in the North, irrespective of uh, political background. The Coast Guards are highly successful in coordinating the saving of lives because they are professional, they're dedicated, and above all else, knowledgeable about the terrain they manage, and that's of critical importance. Hundreds of people owe their lives to the Irish Coast Guards, and especially in recent years, as more and more people take up water sports. They are a beacon of light, a symbol of hope, and an icon, which many people wish to emulate. The recommendation in the Fisher Report is that Ireland should have two Coast Guard stations, one in Dublin and another in Valencia, with Malmö Head to close, bringing to an end the most successful, seamless cross-border service of all time. It's a bit like putting back up the Berlin Wall. It's not acceptable to this part. Politically, this proposal is a disaster because it damages the very principle of cross-border cooperation at a local and practical level. And for me and you as members of the SDLP, we reject that. Now, the SDLP has been involved in the campaign. Recently, we give evidence to the Raptus Committee on Transport and Dáil Éireann. And here I want to uh, thank uh, Councillor Orla Beattie from the Mavadi the Deputy Mayor of Korean Mara Hickey, uh, who accompanied me, and who, give, who told the committee practical stories of people's lives being saved in the areas that we represent. Gail and Fianna Fáil and Everett, the both party leaders, pointing out the inconsistencies in shutting one of the best examples of cross-border cooperation, while at the same time advocating greater importance for those created under the Good Friday Agreement. It is utter madness, and hopefully, with your support, common sense will prevail, politics will count, and another madcap idea of it, consultants can be safely buried once and for all. Uh, fellow delegates and visitors, thank you very much for the opportunity. I think the party has uh, demonstrated over the last four years that partition does not mean that a Coast Guard station that simply happens to be in the most northerly part of our island uh, should in fact uh, be taken away and deprive hundreds of thousands, uh, sorry, thousands of people uh, on the north coast and far beyond because while the motion may sound a bit parochial, I can tell you it's not. On the day we were in Dublin given evidence, the previous day, two people were saved from drowning by the Irish Coast Guards in, in County Down and you saw the horrific films of that, I'm sure, many times since. So, as a party, it aspires to all Ireland uh, institutions and uh, certainly wants to break down uh, any uh, inconvenience by partition and what happened since. I urge you to support the motion and please, over the weekend, make sure you sign the petition that the party has put together because we will present that again to the Dublin government. I think it's on the 10th of December. It's a big fight. We haven't won it. The people of Donegal appreciate what we're doing because we're articulating something that's unique and, and, and important, and that is the northern connection with the Coast Guards. Thank you. Thank you, John. Dolores Kelly to second the motion, please. Thank you. Uh, just one
to uh, formally second the motion and commend John for the hard work uh, that he has given and the leadership and commitment he has shown in putting this at uh, the very highest level, uh, both at the Doyle and at the Assembly. He is quite right to talk about the unsung heroes and all those lives that have been saved as a consequence. Whilst I'm not familiar with Man and Head uh, myself, I have uh, recently uh, been out on the Loch Ness rescue boats uh, with, with the, the team there, and I'm struck by the bravery and the dedication of those volunteers because that's what they are the volunteers who actually give up at least one evening a week uh, training and are there uh, for duty when called. So I want to congratulate John, formally second uh, this uh, motion and say that this is a, a real example of how uh, cross border. Uh, cooperation can work and has a strong record of working. So why would we even be considering uh, the closure of this Coast Guard station? I just want to endorse John's comments. Thank you. I move then to motion 33. Once again, I call on John Dallet to propose the motion. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to rescue me shortly. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, there is a connection between the previous motion and this one, and that is the cross-border element of, of our uh, communication. Now, for me personally, one of the most vivid memories I have of the unification of Germany was the reconstruction of the rail link between East and West Berlin. Other people think of the wall being knocked down and so on. Sadly, since partition in Derry, I lost three of its railways with the fourth currently closed to at least April of next year. In recent years, especially with self-proclaimed South Armagh Republican in the name of Conor Murphy in charge of transport, one would have thought at least there would be a symbolic gesture towards unification of the real network of, of Ireland. Sadly, the very opposite happened, with Mr Murphy agreeing to the postponement of the upgrade of the Derry Korean section. Thankfully, Danny Kennedy, the new Minister for Regional Development, who's no Republican. In years, the Republic of Ireland invested heavily in rail transport, and anyone who happens to be in Connolly Station, or indeed in any of the principal uh, railway stations in the Republic, can see for themselves the success there is when the government invests heavily in rail transport. People respond uh, accordingly, and uh, you know what they've performed there, I think, uh, it is, is highly commendable. To be honest, it's a miracle that we still have a railway line to Derry, even if it's currently closed. Over the years, the civil servants, who I refer to as the permanent government, tried unsuccessfully to close that line north of Halloween and the field because the public uh, voted with their feet and to, uh, took to the trains in increasing numbers. And I pay tribute to the people of the North West who did that. In fact, when the Belfast, the Derry Belfast uh, railway service uh, closed. It was carrying more passengers than the one from Belfast to Dublin. In recent years, with new trains, and the new trains appeared when our Mark Durkin MP was Minister for Finance. <coughs> that was the beginning of the Renaissance, and that was the beginning of the revival. And and hope that the civil servants wouldn't get their way and in fact uh, destroy that wonderful railway, uh, which was described. Was at one time by Michael Palin as, as the most beautiful in the world. The final solution must mean support from the European Union, something which the Stormont civil servants seemed reluctant to pursue, but perhaps now with a bit of help uh, from the uh, Regional Development Committee of the Will. Uh, Ireland surely has come of age and is entitled to join other progressive European countries that have transformed both the road and the rail work. Networks, and you know it pains me to travel through the new emerging countries from Eastern Europe, Slovenia, and so on, and to see what they have done, and to think that we're still trying to cope with things that happened in 1921. <coughs> Partition can no longer stand in, in the way of progress. Reuniting the railways must no longer be a pipe dream; it must be a reality, and in keeping with all the other principles and aspirations of the SDLP, I urge you to support the motion. Thank you.